Welcome to this Learn the Electrics video, the 11th in our 18th edition exam help series. We hope that this video will be of use to you in your studies or just simply keeping your knowledge up to date. Above all, we hope that you find it both interesting and informative. This video is on part 5 of the wiring regulations. This is a major section of the 18th edition exam and you should expect 15 questions on part 5 alone. Looking at page 3, the main contents page, you will see that there are 6 chapters to part 5, but it spans over 100 pages. There is no way you will remember everything in this chapter, and so the best way to exam success is to learn how to use the contents pages. The main contents are on page 3. Part 5 contents are on page 124 and 125, and each of the 6 chapters have their own more detailed contents section. Use the contents pages, they really are your friend. Make yourself familiar with the table of figures and table of tables at the back of the book. Many times there will be a table related to the question. Let's begin by looking at how the contents pages will help. Here is page 3, the main contents page, and part 5 is shown in the red box. Part 5, as we said, has its own contents page, so turn to page 124 in the book. You can see here that every chapter is listed with the main sections shown. This page will give you clues to which chapter to look in. A typical question might ask, when selecting types of wiring systems, a bus bar trunking system shall comply to which BSEN standard? So start your search on page 3. And straight away we can see chapter 52, Selection and Erection of Wiring Systems, page 136. Right in the middle of page 136 is regulation 521.4, Bus Bar Trunking Systems, and there is our answer. Another question. A wiring system passes through the wall of a building. To minimise the risk of the spread of fire during the erection of the wiring system, Temporary sealing arrangements shall be. So, find the Parts 5 contents page on page 124. Here, we find selection and erection of wiring systems to minimise the spread of fire, section 527. And there is regulation 527.2.1.1 on page 147. The answer is, sealing arrangements shall be provided as appropriate. Table of Tables is a very useful aid. You'll find these on pages 522 and 523. Part 5 uses lots of tables to accompany the regulations, and next to the tables will be the words to go with the table. In the words will often be your answer. Before we move on, you need to check your own copy of the wiring regulations. On page 523, there is an omission in the table of tables in some books and you may need to refer to this table in the exam. Please insert the information as shown between table 55.2 and table 64. Here is a popular exam question. A cable is surrounded by 100 millimetres of thermal insulation. What derating factor should be applied? There is a table for this. Find table of tables on page 522. Scan down the entries for the tables that begin with a 5. Table 52.2 says cable surrounded by thermal insulation, page 144. On page 144, table 52.2 gives the answer. For 100 millimetres of thermal insulation, apply a derating factor of 0 0.78. Let's do another one. What is the minimum cross-sectional area of a buried earthing conductor that is made from copper that is not protected against corrosion. We know that there is a table for this and I have highlighted the table name in italics. Look down table of tables on page 522. You will find the table name and this indicates table 54.1 on page 195. Look at the table and there is your answer, 25 millimetres. Here are some must know pointers for the exam. The adiabatic equation will be found on page 196. You must know this. 
the minimum cross-sectional area of a protective conductor can be determined with the formula that is shown. Also, read the information in the note below the formula. This is another popular exam question. Let's have a look at a typical exam question on the adiabatic equation. Calculate the minimum cross-sectional area, or size, for a protective conductor, the earth, given the following information, and choose a conductor size from the four choices. The data provided is I equals 500 amps, T equals 0 0.4 seconds, and K equals 115. Do the calculation in stages. Follow it through, as shown here, and you should get an answer of 2.75 millimetres. Now, make your choice from those offered. And we should choose 4 millimetre conductor. We have a full video on the adiabatic equations, and we will leave a link in the description to this video. Another important section related to protective conductor sizes is on page 198, and this gives the tabulated sizes, not calculated. It is less accurate than a calculation, but will always give a size that is at least big enough. Read through the slide and relate this to the table in your book. The section on high protective conductor currents on page 201 is also popular for an exam question. Please take the time to read this section on page 201 and page 202. It tells us that where leakage current flows down the earth conductor from SPDs, computers, etc., they can reach significant levels. And they are broken down into two different areas those between 3.5 milliamps and 10 milliamps, and those over 10 milliamps. Generally, equipment on these circuits must be either permanently connected to the circuit or by means of a BSEN 60898 plug and socket. Note especially Regulation 543.7.2.201, Part 2. A radial final socket circuit must have the earth connected as a ring. You cannot remember everything in the book. Therefore, learn to make up and use memory joggers. The more bizarre, the better. And here is an example to do with the selection and erection of SPDs on page 161. The two regulations shown talk about type 1 and type 2 SPDs. But how can we remember which is which? This is how I remember the difference. I imagine a church with a big lightning conductor sticking up into the sky. To me, it looks like a straight line, a number one. So this is a type one SPD. The bottom church has decided it doesn't need a lightning conductor. And so someone has taken a hammer to it and smashed it down. The shape looks like a number two to me. So this is a type two SPD. Try it, make up your own memory joggers. Let's look at a few questions now. First, we will answer last week's questions on part four and chapter 41. Here are the answers and the regulations or tables where the answers can be found. Now on to this week's questions on part 5. Question 1 is a process of elimination. Just find each section listed above on the part 5 contents page and find the only one that matches the question. This question is about identifying pen conductors Part 5 contents page will tell you where to look. There is a table for question 3 that matches the words in the question. And again, the answer to question 4 will be found in a table. This question, question 5, is about RCDs. RCDs are for protection, so find protection on page 3 and go to the protection contents page. Look down the list to find the correct section. Question six tells you exactly which table to go to. All you need to do is to interpret the information. On to question seven now. This is about safety services. Start at page three contents, find part five contents, find the correct chapter as per the words in the question. And finally, question eight, a question about luminaires. We know there is a table for this. Well, there we are. We hope that you found this video from Lynn Electrics both useful and enjoyable and that you are adding to your electrical knowledge.
please click on subscribe below. It will give you access to all of our Tech Tips videos and you will also ensure that you don't miss our next video. By clicking on subscribe you help us too and we do appreciate that small act. Also, tap in Learn the Netflix, all one word, into the YouTube search bar will give you access to all the videos. Thank you for watching and we hope to see you again very soon.